inside a snowflake, like the one on your sleeve, there happened a story you must see to believe. Way up in the mountains, in the high range of Pontoos, lay the small town of Whoville. Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. Get my cloak. I've been much too tolerant of these juvenile delinquents and their innocent victimless pranks. So they want us to know me, do they? Spend a little quality time with the Grinch. I guess I could use a little social interaction. Oh, my! Someone has vandalized that vehicle. You see, Max? The city is a dangerous place. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Not for the day. Right, but now please, don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. Hey, kids, here's a present for you. Be sure to run real fast with it now. Come on, double time, let's go. Move, move, move. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on just right. Huh. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all it? may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. I shall <laughs> They were just up on the mountains playing with matches or defacing public property or... Oh, well, that's a, that's a relief. All right, you heard the man. There's no Grinch problem here. Jerry duty, jerry duty, jerry duty, blackmail, tape slip, chain letter, eviction notice, jerry duty, jerry duty. <laughs> <laughs> Of the world unite! Let's go! Thanks for saving me! The Grinch knew tomorrow all the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early and rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise! Oh, the noise! 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 Idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful awful idea. He laughed in his throat and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat and he chuckled and clucked. With his coat and his hat I'm a just like Saint Nick. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, and as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Just face the music, you're a monster, Mr. Grinch. You got galligators all over, Mr. Grinch. Well, I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot Tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. 
So he brought back the toys and the food for the feast, and he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Does that mean Christmas? Yeah. 